Okay, so here's kind of a fun thing that a lot of kids like to do with the 3D drawing software, and that is you can engrave your name or some kind of title on a project. And that can be fun, but it can also be helpful so that if we're printing out a bunch of similar uh, products that you can tell which one is yours. So um, we're looking at the cube with the hole and we're going to use the arrow key to turn it on its side. So we're looking on, at a flat face. And we are going to make another sketch. So click sketch. And we're going to sketch right on the side of the cube. So I'm going to click on the side of the cube. And you'll notice one of the tools up here looks like a letter, the letter A. And that is the text tool. And this will allow you to write stuff that you want onto the uh, existing drawing. And uh, we're going to click on it. And the first thing you have to do is make a rectangle that will be, um, that will show how big your text is supposed to be. It's really important how much vertical space you give your text. If you make it tall up and down, then the letters will be big. And a lot of times you won't be able to fit whatever you wanted uh, into the box. So if I now type Dr. MCN and say check, look, it's way too big. That's because I made the initial rectangle too tall vertically. So I'm going to click on the X, get rid of this, too big. Let's Click on sketch, sketch on the cube, and now we want the text tool, click, and this time I want to make a much smaller or um, less tall rectangle, and now click again. And once we click the second time, it's going to let us type in this box over here. So get rid of default text by delete or backspace. And then say whatever the title you wanted. And hit enter. I'm sorry, actually, click check to accept. And, oh, it was still a little bit too big. I'm going to X out again. Sketch. Tell it where to sketch. Click on the square. Hit the text tool. Let's make it really small this time. And let's try it again. And once I'm done, click the check mark. And you can see that it depends on the size, the height of the rectangle that you choose initially. Um, that's what determines the font size. And if you make the rectangle too tall, then your font will be too big and it won't fit on um, what you wrote. But if you, um, if you uh, do it correctly, then it will fit. So I'm going to check. Now, in order for this to show up on the um, on the actual product when it spits out, we need to extrude it. Remember, it's got to have some depth. We need to take some material out of this. So I'm going to click on this guy, say extrude, and let's make the depth. We don't want much. This is like a little engraving. Let's say 0 0.1, 0 0.1 inch, and hit enter and check and let's see if we arrow key sideways whether we can see that it, this actually came out notice that uh, 
but added material and so that those letters would stick out. Let's try one more real quick. I'm going to click down here. Sketch. Click on the cube. Click on the A. And let's say my name, Dr. M. Check. And now let's extrude. And this time instead of blind, I'm sorry, instead of add, let's say remove. Let's leave it at blind. And Let's say point 0.1 again. And let's say check. And this time, it's a little bit hard to see, but those letters are engraved into the cube instead of sticking out. So remember the main thing is don't make your rectangle too tall or your letters won't fit. If you want it to stick out, leave it on add material. If you want the letters to be engraved, click on remove.